so I am here with a haul for you guys. I did a shop with me at Whole Foods not too long ago, and here is the product of that shop with me. So here's my haul all ready to go for you guys. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing, Brian is really busy and works a lot, but he told me to pick myself out some flowers, so I did, and I picked out these ones. They are beautiful, and I think these were only like 10 bucks, so super, super pretty. And I think those are the only thing in this haul that are not 100% organic. So let's see, and I just left it in the bags because I thought that would be easier. The first thing that I picked up are some wide egg noodles. I'm gonna be making a tuna casserole in the very near future, so I thought these would be great for that and they're organic you guys this is one of those things that I can't find organic anywhere and it was really reasonable I don't know if you guys know but Amazon recently purchased Whole Foods and so so much of their stuff is at a much much better cost so make sure that you check out Whole Foods if you're looking for organic things especially their 365 brand because seriously it's a great deal you guys we also got a thank you card for Delilah's teacher so excited to give her this so Delilah wanted to pick that out and I thought that that was so sweet. I also got two boxes of orzo pasta, another thing that I cannot find organically anywhere. I see this this type of pasta in a lot of different places, but I can never find it in an organic format. So really excited to have found this because I make like a lemon chicken soup and this is the pasta that it calls for. So really excited for this. And then I also got two boxes of organic lasagna noodles. And again, I can't ever find organic lasagna noodles. A lot of people have been saying, Trader Joe's has this but I don't really shop there that much so really really excited to have found this and I am ready to rock to make some lasagna and then I also got two little I guess they're not cans they're like boxes that's weird that's weird to say two boxes of cream of mushroom soup to use in some of my recipes this week so yep that is also organic I also picked up some late July organic sea salt thin and crispy chips these are one of my favorite favorite tortilla chips brands. I get these tortilla chips at Costco a lot, so you'll see those there a lot. So yeah, these are really, really yummy. I also got some Kettle brand organic sea salt and vinegar chips because why not? <laughs> They're really good. And I usually see these chips, but not the organic version. So really excited to have found these. I picked up some organic ketchup just because we needed it in the house. Delilah requested juice, so we picked up cranberry mango juice organic. I also picked up a make at home rustic white thin and crispy pizza crust. So really excited to try this and to make pizza at home. We picked up some Yum Earth Organic Sour Twists. So Delilah is super, super sensitive to food coloring, like the red color and the blue and whatever else in like regular candy, but this is organic, so it doesn't have any of that. So she was really excited to find this. So I definitely picked it up for her as a treat and she won't get it all the time, you guys. And I know that just cause it's organic doesn't mean that it's good for you, but I do know that it won't give her any of the like ADHD symptoms that she has when she does have that food coloring. So really excited to have found that. I picked up just some yellow mustard because I had one in the cupboard, but I guess it had been in there for a long time because it was definitely expired like two years ago, which was so random. I had no idea that I had mustard in there that had been that old. So I picked up some yellow mustard. So my kids and my husband are dairy free. They're all lactose intolerant. And my husband actually got this yogurt last week when he went grocery shopping and I saw it today. And so I picked it up as a little treat for him and for the kids to have. We're gonna go camping, so I thought that, that would be something that they could have for breakfast and that kind of thing. I picked up some organic shredded mozzarella for the pizza. I may need to go back and get some more of this for the lasagna, but we'll have to see how this goes. So I picked this up for the pizza specifically. I picked up a spring green mix so that I can make salads. Very excited for this. I also picked up two of this crispy kale and coleslaw mix, so I picked up some of this to make some salads with as well. And then again, I picked up two of this like coleslaw salad mix to make a different salad. So we eat a lot of salad around here. So I thought that that would be good to have on hand. I also picked up some lemon tahini dressing. I got two of these and I thought it would just be really yummy to try. It looks really good. I picked up two of this shiitake sesame dressing as well. Again, I thought it would be really, really yummy on salad. So excited to try this. Next, I picked up some blueberries and those are upside down. Just some 
organic blueberries. Again, a good thing to take camping that the kids can snack on. I grabbed some bananas. Again, just kind of a grab and go thing for camping, but it can be like a healthy snack. So that's good to have on hand. I picked up a handful of organic ready to eat avocados. So Brian likes to have these as a snack just kind of by themselves. I was thinking maybe I could add them to some salads, that kind of thing. So I got those. I picked up some lactose free whole milk and I really just wanted to use this for cooking. Again, my kiddos are both lactose free. They're lactose intolerant. So I picked this up just so that when I'm cooking, things won't like bother their tummies. I also picked up another bag of the late July chips. These ones are actually my favorite from this brand. So if you ever find these, they're so good. I picked up some organic hamburger buns because honestly, I've never ever seen these. And they came from a local bakery. So Fran's Bakery is a local to Portland bakery. So if you're ever in the Portland area, give those a shot. We picked up some veggie straws also. We love veggie straws, but we were so sad to never be able to find them organically. So there they are, some organic ones. I grabbed another juice, so mango lemonade. Delilah, I guess, was in like a mango craze right now. She's craving mango. I picked up some organic sliced pickles just because I'm gonna take some tuna fish with us camping. So I thought this would be good to have with us for camping and for tuna fish sandwiches. I found organic plum sauce. I love this stuff on like stir fry and that kind of thing. I was really excited to find it organically so that I can make some yummy Asian dishes. Yum. I picked up two of these salad dressings as well. The sun-dried tomato and garlic. It just looked really good. These are flavors that I haven't seen really anywhere else. So I thought I'd try those. And then I also thought that I would try the Herbs de Provence salad dressing. I thought that looked really yummy. Again, kind of just a good fatty, oily dressing, which would be really yummy. And then the last thing down in the bottom of the bag is this Island Terry yaki sauce. So I'm really excited to try it. I love that it uses agave nectar instead of regular sweetener. So we'll try this, see how it goes. I have a really hard time finding organic teriyaki sauce. So really excited to have found that. All right, you guys, so that is everything. And I think that my total came to like $218, which for like a good two week shop is not terrible with everything organic. So I can leave a full price breakdown or if you're interested in exactly what everything costs, feel free to let me know. So yeah, if you're interested in exactly like what everything costs, feel free to let me know. And you might be able to hear, I'm kind of out of breath, but I am, I'm sick right now. I have a little bit of a cold. So I have like a sweat going on and I'm out of breath because you know, that's how it is when you have a cold. <laughs> so struggling through, but we're gonna get this video done. I knew I had to grocery shop. So I figured why not share it with you guys too, since I didn't share a Costco shop with you guys. Oh, and that brings me to that. So I didn't do a Costco shop this month because I just didn't really need to. I didn't need like that big of portions for those things. So we just kind of ate what we had. We're trying to kind of work on a little bit of a budget. And so I will be going and doing a big Costco shop in June. So it'll be like a May, June situation. And it'll be early in June. I was kind of noticing also that I was shopping later in the month. And so I wanted to get back on a schedule where I could shop at the beginning of the month. So, so the Costco shop is coming <laughs> and I can do a shop with me at Costco too if that's something you guys want to see. I hope that you guys liked that Whole Foods shop with me. So I'm going to go ahead and get these put away and I think as I'm putting them away I'm going to show you guys my fridge cleaning routine so that you guys can check out how I clean my fridge and keep it nice and clean and up to date. So if you liked this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for me. If you are new around here hey my name is Caitlin. I do lots of planning stuff. I do all kinds of other things on this channel. So if you're looking for like a mom variety show, I am the channel to follow. So hit that red subscribe button down below and join the BAM fam. <laughs> and if you are one of my current subscribers, thank you so much for being here. I absolutely adore you guys, each and every single one of you. You make my day and here is your internet hug for the day. And if you want to find me on other social sites, you can find me over on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And by the way, you guys have fun today.